Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Have I got an awesome J50 for you today from Gibson. Now, you all know by now that I love these acoustic guitars from Gibson. I own two. They're my daily players. I play them at church. I play them uh, everywhere, and uh, I love them. So whenever I get my hands on one, I usually grab it if it's a good one. Now, this one is a 1973 J50. Uh, one of the ones that was still made in Kalamazoo, I will tell you, which is kind of cool. And it says so right inside on the uh, big orange label in there. It says uh, Model J50 Deluxe Guarantee. And uh, it is made proudly in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. So it's uh, it's one of the old ones. Uh, it's uh, I will tell you that uh, is one of the redesigned uh, ones. They did some things with the uh, braces and that inside, uh, which changed them. Some of the old ones, like what I play, the '60s ones, are pretty mellow. You know, they're they're you know singers' guitars. You know, they're they're using a lot of records because uh, singers like them. They don't overpower their voices. This one is going to be a lot more like a Martin. It's very loud. It's very proud, and it's very bright. Uh, I really like them. I mean, they're they're totally different. I should probably have one of these in my arsenal uh, because I, it's really great. I mean, it's just like I said, it's like more like a D18 Martin than it is my old uh, 63 J50. Uh, so bear that in mind on these uh, 70s, um, these early 70s ones. They're really great. They're really loud, and they just are fantastic. Now, I want to tell you before we go into uh, playing the guitar, uh, of course, it's all original, and it's in great shape. Uh, we had to fix it. Uh, when we got it, it had a crack that uh, went from here up through the sound hole and came about up into here. So uh, what our uh, luthier did is, first of all, he, he very carefully took off the uh, original pick guard, and uh, we were happy they were able to salvage that. If that had broken, I'd just been heartbroken. But he took that apart, and then there's all sorts of these different braces in here that I was uh, indicating, and he had to uh, kind of work around those to get in there and uh, not only fix the crack and fill the hole with, with glue, but he also had to put uh, cleats in there. So we've got a cleat across here on the sound hole. I can see it. And it also a very nice tapered cleat right in here uh, that's going to help reinforce that crack and this whole sound hole area, which was uh, actually very vulnerable to you know pounding and, and all the stuff that you're going to be doing playing. So this will never have a problem ever again, uh, he has assured me. And uh, when he showed me with his uh, little mirror in there, uh, he did a fabulous, fabulous job. And I'm really proud of the work that, uh, that our luthier did on this guitar. Uh, Reglued the, the pick guard on it. Uh, the the uh, uh, bridge was already on there very solidly, I'm happy to say, uh, so we didn't have to do anything with the bridge. So it was just really this one crack that we had to deal with, took care of it. You will have no trouble with this guitar uh, for the rest of its life. Now, uh, as far as the neck goes, uh, I mean, I love playing it. it. It plays great. It's got some room in the saddle if you want to lower it just a little bit. Um, you know, it, I would probably, if I was going to use this as my daily player, I'd probably take a little bit off the saddle just to reduce it just a little bit. Plays a little stiffer than my uh, 60s, but, uh, you know, I've got baby fingers, so, you know, I need to have them play nice and low. But uh, it does play great. The, the frets are in very good shape. Will it need some frets someday? Yes. Uh, they, they've definitely been used. Uh, the guitar has been played a lot, uh, although it was really babied. I mean, it just, it's beautiful. No back rash whatsoever. Um, the, I just love the uh, uh, Keystone Chrome uh, tuners on the Gibson Deluxe tuners. Those are really, really cool. And, uh, you know, it's, it's bound on uh, both sides, which I think makes it a Deluxe as opposed to just a J50, which I think is only the top uh, bound, if I'm not mistaken. But mahogany back and sides, beautiful spruce, solid spruce top. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous guitar, and it just sounds wonderful. <laughs> fun to play.
voice too. Fun guitar. Hey, that's really cool, but you know what? We also have the original case. Now, this case is in really, really nice shape for 1973. They didn't have Gibson uh, stenciled on it, but uh, it is original uh, case. Came with the guitar, so we know it. Uh, it is the original case. Latches are uh, still on it. Even the, <coughs> the leather latch is still on it. That's really cool. Original handle, uh, hinges. Pretty uh, uh, interior in here. Uh, yeah, this one latch, I remember that they had fixed it somewhat with some tape. I mean, you know, it's an old case, but, you know, it still works. Uh, should you travel with this case? No. I mean, don't travel with this case. Put it under the bed and get yourself a nice uh, gig bag or a mono bag or something to, uh, to travel with. But when you have these original cases, you want to preserve them because this part of the history of that guitar, even the accessory boxes here, so you want to keep the case with the guitar, but don't travel with it, okay? It's a great case, but not designed to last another 50 years, that's for sure. So check it out. We got this really cool 1973 Gibson J50 from Kalamazoo. I mean, it is such a cool, cool guitar, and uh, we just love it. So uh, check it out, and all our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. You're on our... Uh, YouTube channel, so why don't you hit subscribe? We we do five of these every month. They're always cool guitars. If you like looking at cool guitars, you're gonna like being subscribed to Lawman Guitars. So check it out. We're on Facebook. Uh, we're Reverb. We've got our web page. Uh, we've got all kinds of places. If you're trying to find Lawman Guitars, just Google me. It'll come up quick. So we appreciate all your support and thanks a lot for watching my video. I appreciate it very very much.